What's going on YouTube, GS right here. So I get this question a lot. Should I update the iOS 16.0.2? A lot of people saw the update that Apple published, which is 16.0.2, which contains a lot of bug fixes. So we're going to discuss about that in a second. This video is brought to you by AnyTrans, which allows you to drag and drop files directly from your computer to your device and do selective backups from your device only to the files that you need. Check the program out in the link below. So iOS 16.0.2, it contains a lot of bug fixes but no security fixes at all. Just like iOS 16.0.1 as you can see over here there are no published CVEs. So basically no security fixes for both 16.0.1 and 16.0.2. However 16.0.2 contains a lot of bug fixes that we're going to discuss in a second. So the update was available a couple of days ago and I have already installed it on my device. You can see that checking for updates in here basically says it's 16.0.2 and I can tell you that this update is actually quite great. Even the battery life is much better on this update. Now the changelog for this update is this one over here and as you can see it does contain a lot of bug fixes including one for the camera which says camera may vibrate and cause blurry photos, display may appear completely black during device setup, copy and paste between applications may be broken, voiceover may be unavailable when rebooting, address is an issue where the touch input was unresponsive on the iPhone 10, on the iPhone 10R and 11 so basically it contains a lot of important bug fixes and the update is actually quite small if you're going from 16.0 or 16.0.1. For me it was only 235 megs so I would definitely recommend you to install this update if you don't have it already because it does patch important bugs. Now if you don't want a jailbreak you shouldn't care about staying on a lower version so most of the times the newer version is the better and this is the case for 16.0.2 as well. Now other versions are still available as well like 16.0 and the 15.0 RC but at this point for battery life and features I would recommend 16.0.2 especially if you don't want a jailbreak. If you do want a jailbreak the situation is completely different you should stay away from 16.0 at all costs and the lower you are the better so definitely stay as low as possible if you don't want a jailbreak but even for jailbreak purposes if you already run iOS 16 going from there to 16.0.1 or 16.0.2 doesn't have any security changes so it wouldn't affect your jailbreak in the future. So yeah, that's basically it. Thank you for watching. I'm just now. Till the next time, peace out.